Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, just a couple announcements before we get into this video. This video is probably going to be really important because this is the first real, like, total information we're getting on FC25. My phone was blowing up. I was traveling back home this morning. I got up early. I went to the beach this weekend. It was really nice to reset. I always want to say to you guys, man, that allows me to, like, take vacations like that, get some energy, some rest. Thank you guys, man, for all the support because, you know, it's not possible without you guys. Happy everybody got the Rat to Glory shirt. Sorry there was the delay. It was worth it. You guys seem to love them. The print is awesome. I wore mine to the beach this weekend. Yeah, I was wearing my Rat to Glory shirt to the beach. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for the the love. She sent me some tweets and uh, Instagram posts about you guys getting your orders. I appreciate it. I'm very excited for FC25. I really need to reset this weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, I was pretty much watching football, working out, and at the beach all weekend, which is my type of weekend. That's, if I had a dream life. I would be waking up every day, working out, watching football, and heading to the beach, man. That's what I want to do. That's my life. One day. But for now, we got FC25 to grind. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Huge shout out to everybody that came to the first multi-stream the other day. I think whenever we play eFootball, we're going to do it because you guys on YouTube that watch these videos are really... Uh, eFootball is huge on YouTube. And uh, we're going to be doing something with FC25. So any of you guys that like watching YouTube streams, um, we're going to be doing some of them through the promos on Fridays on FC25. Maybe a couple of release ones. We're always going to be primarily on Twitch. My, my loyalty, my heart is to Twitch. But I do really like the, the, the idea of multi-streaming to YouTube. I think it makes sense on larger days i think full team of the year week will be there so shout out to you guys that have been watching this guy lawnmower is outside i feel like i have to scream but you guys probably can't even hear it anyways the timing of that we're gonna get right into it so we have the ea sports fc football are they serious are they really lawn are they really is there really a lawnmower going on the second i'm back all weekend they probably didn't that's crazy they're right outside my window Anyways, uh, hi, Gordon. I've never heard of this guy. Product manager, so he must be new. Yo, guys, come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Anyways, today I'm going to run through some key updates ahead of the launch of uh, EA Sports FC. I'll be largely talking about some changes around our football ultimate team content. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to put a precursor to this video. As I was heading back home, my phone was blowing up today. Like, people were like, oh, my God, this is crazy. People were telling me to react to it. People were telling me what's going on. I said, don't tell me anything because people that DM'd me and they, they uh, WhatsApp me. Adam was freaking out, one of the viewers. Um, Codex was DMing me. They were saying it's crazy. So nobody told me anything. So I have really high expectations for whatever I'm about to see. They told me the new rewards are, like, incredible. And before I go into that, I know I'm stalling a little bit here. Um, that's very exciting. Because, look, I, if the rewards were bad, okay, the gameplay has to be insane, right? It has to be like you don't care about your rewards because you love playing the game. We kind of know that's not the case with the recent couple of years. So EA hopefully have figured out really a good balance here because I felt like the rewards were a little better this year. I still don't feel like they really had me ultimately motivated. What I really miss as a consumer and a player of FIFA, I really miss monthly rewards. So I, I don't know if we're going to be able to see that. We'll see. Um... There's going to be more than just rewards in here. So early access, as always, let's kick this off with the one huge question. When can I jump into Ultimate Team? Starting from September 19th, you'll be able to uh, kickstart your Football Ultimate Team club on the web with a refresh companion on the 20th. Players who are rejoining us for Football Ultimate Team 24 will get a little something extra. Oh, so the 19th. Oh, I thought the web app was going to be on Wednesday. Okay, so the web app is going to be on the 19th. So that's going to be on Thursday, right? So we only have one day of the web app? Early access. If you pre-order the Ultimate Edition of EASV, you'll be able to jump into the game from midnight local time on September 20th on console. So Friday, we can play uh, FC. 5 a.m. British Standard Time on the 20th on PC. Either way, Friday we could play. If you're an EA Play member, you'll get 10 hours at a trial. If you're EA Play Pro, PC only, uh, you'll get unlimited access. Worldwide launch, if you pre-ordered, so the, the whole game is out on the 27th. That's very interesting. It's not out. Guys, also, people always asking me, yo, does EA give you a copy? Guys, I'm not I'm not in any EA program. I, I'm not here to say anything good about EA. I, I can say whatever the hell I want until they permavan me for life. Um, so I'm not getting that. I don't get it early every year. The reason I played early last year and some of these previous years, sometimes my viewers who like live close to these stores or whatever, they get it early or they get a digital code somehow, some of the pros, and they will always hook me up and share it with me. So if I do get that guys, I will be there. But other than that, I'm going to be grinding just like you guys. So today's Monday, 17th, 18th, so 18th is going to be a Wednesday. So it's not going to be out on Wednesday. 
I'm actually okay with it dropping Thursday, Friday because we got Champions League. I cannot wait for Champions League this week. In FC25, you'll find a range of content to help you kickstart your uh, season during early uh, access, including Team of the Week 1, Rush Objectives, Player of the Month, SBCs, Special Evolutions, World Tour, and Squad Foundations. Okay, so maybe there's going to be a couple new uh, group rewards. You also have the opportunity to earn season points in the new season. Here we go. FC Season 1, Total Rush. In FC25, we want to bring seasons to more players by expanding them beyond football ultimate team. And we are extending them to career mode and clubs for players to be rewarded for their progress. For football ultimate team players, uh, the FC season will look and feel familiar. We, we're focused on delivering the same level of football ultimate team rewards to players whilst at the same time introducing new reward types for career mode. Okay. We know that we have a range of players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so ultimate team, you got some packs. They're basically calling anybody on Ultimate Team. Pack Addicts, thank you, EA. Clubs, we got some glasses. Manager career, there's a certain tie. Uh, okay, we also see that the total number of games played per season in each mode differs quite substantially. Okay, with the new season, we also want to make it easier. If you choose, if you do choose to jump into another FC mode, previously in FC24 with an exclusive season, if you want to jump into another mode, you might have felt you would have come at the cost of building your football team thanks to the new seasons in fc25 if you're loving rush and want to check out how you and your friends would fare on 11 v 11 you can jump over and use any clubs rewards you might have already used okay cool similar to xp previously your progress through the fc season will be tracked through the season points so it's called sp um which are awarded for completing objectives so that's a reskin it's just going to be xp it's called sp it's nothing new uh as we reflect on fc24 we felt that seasonal rewards felt extra special when they connected with campaigns happening Okay, so now let's discuss some of those new rewards. Total Rush. Total Rush is a brand new season and campaign concept that emphasizes social play and teamwork through objectives across FC. And in addition, we'll provide new player items uh, well suited to Rush. On October 11th, the Total Rush campaign will celebrate dream picks from some famous faces. Okay. Throughout the six weeks of Season 1 Total Rush, players will be able to progress towards the First Total Rush court Quartet. I can't even read, man. EA, why are you guys stepping up the vocabulary? Anyways, we got Nacho here, Gold, Fontas, and Muriel. Wow, okay. So, uh, like, MLS-themed. Okay. I like that car design. It's looking nice. 87 rated. Um, Two Spanish players. Creating dedicated places to compete with unique squads and improving incentives to play with. Uh, to play with them is a focus of ours as we head into FC25. In FC24, we heard your feedback that the football ultimate team experience over the course of the year began to feel stale. It definitely did. Way to admit it, EA. Particularly if you're coming up against the same lineup game in or game out. Dude, I, I feel like the squad variety, yeah. In FC25, we're introducing a brand new concept, the World Tour. Starting in Spain, home of the UEFA men's champions, We'll deliver a unique regional experience each and every season. Each season will look to deliver a range of nation or league themed content to help you build your world tour squad. Okay. Where's this going? I'm down for new stuff, man. I'm, I'm, I, I've been, you guys know, I've been complaining about how this game feels copy paste. Like we do the same stuff every year. And if you're watching this video, you guys know what I'm talking about. We do our division rivals. We get our rewards. We do our foot champs. We get our rewards. And that's okay if we have that again. But we need other stuff, right, that we can look forward to. Because the same old, you know, you do the same old for five to eight years in a row. You're like, you feel like a robot. You don't want to do it anymore. That's why a lot of people are feeling burnt out. Yeah, the gameplay is terrible in the recent version, FC24. But at the same time, they don't give you enough new stuff to want to do. So hopefully this is what they're trying to go for. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. In Season 1, you'll be able to take your Spanish squad into the One Nation Live Friendly. In addition, keep an eye out for weekly objectives themed around La Liga. Throughout the season, you'll be able to add even more Spanish La Liga, Liga F superstars into your club. This year's squad foundation players will provide two league cam points instead of the standard one. Okay. I, I, that, okay. Okay. I don't know if that that's pretty much the same. But let's see here. In addition to new look seasons, we focused on delivering some major changes to the core modes. Here we go. There's four themes that are driving our decision-making behind these changes. Unique mode identities. In recent years, the purpose behind some of our modes was beginning to converge. We think that the changes we are making to how you play and how you'll be rewarded will help reestablish a unique identity. Play at your level. We want to ensure that players are more consistently finding matches that provide the right level. Reward elite play. This is one that was top of the mind for FC24 on reflection. We think we got to a good spot with this over the course of the year, but missed the mark for launch. We're making changes to improve this for the launch of FC25. Connected rewards. It's important that re rewards... Feel connected to what's happening ultimately. So we'll be focused on delivering frequent update to keep most rewards uh, relevant throughout the cycle. Okay, here we go. This is what people are freaking out about today. I want to see what it is. I have no understanding of what's going on here. Okay, so let's talk about foot champs, right? 
EA started to make Foot Champs rewards feel a little different than FC24. Qualies have been the same since they added Qualies. So let's see if EA finally going to go through change some quality stuff. I don't know. Let's see. In FC25, we're positioning champions as the pinnacle of high-stakes competitive matchups, and we want the rewards in an accessibility to champs to reflect that. Last year, we think we made the champs finals too accessible, particularly to lower-skill players. Ooh, wow. It's been a minute since I've seen EA say something like that. As a result, many players went on extended losing streaks and champs rewards that didn't reach their full potential. This year, champs will not only be more challenging, but it'll be, but it'll be more rewarding for the high skill players. Okay, champs playoffs purpose. Your gateway into champs finals, right? Okay. As a gateway into champs finals, we're looking to reduce the role that the playoffs play each week. In FC25, we're lowering the number of games needed to qualify for finals to three out of five wins, down from four out of ten. Oh, so there's going to be less champs playoffs. So it's only going to be five games and you got to win three out of five? Oh, my God, that's going to be sweaty. I mean, guys, you know me. Over the years, rank one, top 100, elite one. Three out of five, though? Look, if you get tough matchmaking, that's going to be sweaty. Like, imagine you get a, a brutal matchmaking start. You're like two and two going to the last one. And let me tell you, three out of five, that's not going to be easy for the average player. I know you guys are going to look at that and think it's not that different. It, it, that's a lot different. Wow. I mean, essentially, I, I, it's, it's, you could you could scale that and say, oh, six out of ten, you know, compared to what it would have been last year instead of four. So six instead of four. Nah, but you have way less room for error because you got less games. Reducing the number of games will make each playoffs feel more competitive. Helping for two key ways. For players of a high skill level, it'll make the process of qualifying for finals faster. For players of a lower skill level, it'll make pl playoffs a better reflection of your finals experience, ensuring that you only qualify for chance finals once you are ready to be competitive. To help facilitate the above, we're making the first-time playoff qualification more challenging. For players in lower rivals divisions, playoff qualification will feel like a mass, a major milestone, whereas players in high division will be able to constantly jump into playoffs each week. In addition, with playoffs being harder, you have 10 additional attempts each season to enter into playoffs, bringing the total season entries to 18. So if you don't get the 3 out of 5 the one time, you got eight, you got 10 more times to do it. Okay, so they give you more times to try to do it. So if you miss out, it's okay. You can go again and try it again because you're going to have more per season. So I like that because it's the meaningfulness of the five is going to be important, like even for good players. And if you do have a, just a crap week and you somehow go two and three, you got that extra attempt to do it because you're going to have a little bit more. So EA kind of made it harder, but they also give you more challenge uh, chances. Also, it makes sense that they give you more chances, though, because it is less games as well. So for some players, playoffs was a popular arena each uh, week to experiment with new teams and players. As we reflect on all of our modes, we think that the matchmaking changes announced for live friendlies will better meet this needs in FC25. Okay. Okay, yeah. We got to see how EA do this because there has to be incentive in live friendlies. And I'll tell you this. The reason that a lot of people like to build special teams in playoffs and stuff like that is because, yeah, you can try... Like, for me, playoffs was about trying different teams. I was always like, oh, can I get 10-0 with these new cards? 10-0 with this theme team? It was cool for me for content. And a lot of you guys like to do that, too. That are good players or even decent players, right? You know you can get the 4 out of 10. You try an Evo team. You try something else, right? So EA needs to do a good job of where are they going to put that? Because I was saying even with the playoffs at the time we had 10, that we need seasons. We need something repeatable that we could just keep doing that because it's fun, right? That's the most fun recently. Let's be honest. In, in Ultimate Team, the most fun is going into the champs playoff mode and trying out your different team every week. It's a good balance of one game's easy, one game is hard, one game is like medium. So what is EA going to do to change that? We'll read more about it. The one ick I have, the ick, right? Like the ick I, I get with friendlies is that there's no, they don't track the stats. They And that kind of bothers me. Like if I'm building a different team and I want to do a video on it, and I know it's not all about me as a creator. You guys too though. You guys like to go on Twitter. You guys like to go on Discord, right? You post your stats with the team. I like to see that stuff. And stats as is aren't even in depth enough. The fact that we're in 2025 almost, and it's still games played, goal scored, assist. That's it. We got to have more than that, right? But it's still a nice feature to have. Like, oh, I tried out a striker. He went crazy. It's a little harder to do in friendlies because they don't track stuff. So let's see what EA is going to say for that. Here we go. Finals. Purpose. The pinnacle of high stakes competition. The changes to playoffs will mean that the average skill of Champions Finals players will increase year on year. With this increased level of competition, top finishes in Champs Finals will earn you significantly. Okay, it's not even just improved rewards. EA is saying significantly improved rewards. We'll also be looking to better differentiate the types of rewards you see in Champs and Rivals to help the modes feel unique. As an example of the changes you can expect, below you can see the Season 1 rewards for players who achieve Rank 1 in Champs Finals. This will be very interesting. 
and I'm assuming it's still going to be 20 games. Oh, I see. Yo, that's why people were blowing me up today. All right, because I'm about to say, like, people were freaking out on my phone, and I'm like, dude, we're at the point where a lot of us who have played this game for a while have kind of been like, all right, what's going on with this game? The hype is kind of dead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. We're so back. I mean, I'll tell you why this is brilliant from EA. Because EA have introduced something that we've never... Okay, this is what I've been saying. I don't know what it takes them so long to do. They're introducing something we've never seen before, but it has hype, right? So, like, the older FIFAs, right? They used to be super hype because you had, like, those weekly Team of the Week packs. You had the monthly rewards. It was hype because it was new. This is going to be ridiculously hype because it's new, right? And the good players... Oh, my God. This is nuts. This is nuts. Okay, let's let's break it down. 200,000 coins. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. I'm like in disbelief right now. Dude, this is like literally some something I would cook up and say, "EA, can you release this?" and they'd be laughing and give you an 81 times 3 pack for rank 1 in the recent couple years. Oh my god. EA, let's go. All right. Hold on a second. So, and and obviously guys, you know the one thing I always tell you guys, does this really change that much, you know, about the state of gameplay and stuff like that, right? No, but does this compensate and potentially help? What I want to do with you guys real quick, and this is a little bit of a segue, and this is going to end up being a long video because EA have cooked and they've added a lot. So we're going to break this down right now because I want you guys to understand how crazy this is because you guys are going to look at this and a lot of people are coming off the fresh mind of like FC24 and are looking at an 8510. Guys, oh my, you don't even understand this is crazy. I mean, this is insane, bro. Because an 8510 tradable at that time of the year, let me let me just let me just like 8510. Let me just pick out a couple players that aren't even like that crazy that you might see from an 8510. I just want to do this for the sake of the argument, right? Because people will remember these guys as fodder, right? Let's look at Nkunku, right? 86 Nkunku, you know, in that time of the year, 70k. 86 Tenali at that time of the year, 100K. 86 Saka at that time of the year, 30K. Ronaldo, 86, you know, 40K. So my point, my point of how crazy that is being tradable, I mean, we're probably expecting people at the, like a bad pack for a tradable 8510 at this time of the year is probably going to be four to 500K. A bad pack. I'm telling you because you could get like four fodder 85s, but then even you go back and look at like FC24 this year. You look at, like, Teo Hernandez, right? And he's, like, an 85. Dude, th there's some 85s that are, like, 80. You know what I'm saying? So the worst pack there is going to be, like, 400K. And I'm going to tell you this. For all the market guys out there, like, I love the market. You guys know me over the years. I love the market. For all of the market guys out there, this is going to be amazing for the market because these guys are going to have so many coins that get – if you're getting foot champs finishes, look, this is only rank one. So I'm hoping that EA made rank two, rank three, rank four pretty crazy. We'll see. Oh, oh my God, it's going to bring so many coins into the market. The market is getting a tradable injection that it has not had in years because years ago, EA went obsessively over to this untradable. And I said, look, if EA wants to release their store packs, they could do that. That's fine. But they got to compensate the people that want to play this game as an RTG and not want to spend money. And that's what they've done. Not only do you get an 8510 tradable, you get an 8410. This is ridiculous. Holy. I mean, I think off these two packs alone, most rank one players could expect to see 1 million coins, right? One mil. You get an untradable base icon pack every week. Bro, that's fire. That's fire. I mean, I mean, in the old days with the monthlies, right? Let's say you got top 100 monthly. You got 44 red team of the week uh, cards, and you got an icon in that pack. You could get four. If you get rank one every week in the month, you get four icons out. That's crazy. Let's say you get rank one every week of the year. Or at least the first season. Dude, that's unreal. And untradable 89 times two? Untradable 8230, three tradable team of the week packs. Three. I don't even want to know how many coins are here. And look, we got the duplicate storage, 100 uh, player store item. Dude, this is nuts. This is, this is probably the best thing I've seen EA do since, like, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. I mean, look, you, you, I always complain, like, yo, pre-order this, all that, spending money on the game. They don't change anything. This is a change.
Okay, I don't know what the gameplay is going to look like because people that play the beta said it's not that different. But whatever. The gameplay is going to be the gameplay. I think at this point, everyone watching this video, we're not expecting EA, the employees that work there right now, to be able to cook up a good game. The old employees, they knew what they were doing. They had a lot of good stuff in the older games, right? The new ones, it's completely segued, right? The new company now is entirely focused on let's maximize profits. Okay, who cares? When we got these rewards, OMG, bro. OMG, I can't, I, I, I'm like, I'm like stalling over these because I can't understand how EA actually dropped these. This is crazy. This is crazy. In addition, we want to provide our best performing players with more ways to show off their achievements in game. One way that players will be able to do this is through seasonally exclusive customization to the players who finish in the highest champs ranks. In season one, those rewards will be... So if you get a rank one, you can name your club to the Invincibles. If you get rank one to rank one to three in season one, you get the flex. So that's going to be an exclusive one. Similar to playoffs, we'll be reducing the total number of matches by five. Oh my God, foot champs is only 15 games now. Oh my God, TikTok generation in full effect. It's only 15 games. Wait, wait, wait. Similar to playoffs, we will be reducing the total number of matches by five, which will help raise the stakes of each match, each, mat, uh, each match and reduce the amount of time needed to finish a champs run. We'll also be simplifying the point system. In champs, to help you better track, each win you'll earn one point with no points awarded for a loss. Rank tiers in season one. Rank one is 15 points. You got to go 15 and 0. Oh, my God. Damn, so rank one previously was 19 to 1. To get the best rewards, to get these rewards, you got to go 15 and 0. Wow. Boy, is it going to be sweaty. Oh, my God, people are going to be dripping of sweat. 15 and 0, you got to go. Now, for rank two, you got to go 13 and 2. They don't put the other rewards here, but look, in the previous couple of years, I'm assuming there's going to be some exclusivity stuff to rank one. It might be the 89.2. It might be the icon pack. Um, it might be one of these. I'm assuming in rank two, it'll be somewhat similar. So guys, if you've seen this rank one, I'm assuming rank two, rank three will also be pretty lit. Um, based on this, I think the top tier is going to be a lot better. That's what their focus is on this article. Um, but yeah, so rank three is 11 and four rank two is 13 and two. Uh, and look guys, 13 and two in this time around, I mean, like it's going to be way harder with the quality system. Champs is just going to be really sweaty. You know, so hopefully rank four, I would say even rank three and up is is really rewarding because I think an 11 and four with way less good, way less, like, I'm not going to, I don't think, well, I think way less bots are going to be in champs. So the games are going to be really sweaty. Like, I'm assuming some of the pros, and even if I get in higher elos, you're going to just be seeing pros matching pros at like 10 and 0. It's going to be really sweaty. Oh, my God. So they haven't really put too much else about what's rank two, rank three. We'll see the rest when we know. I, I, I'm in awe. I'm in shock. I mean, I mean, guys, I'll be honest. Like, the only way I've started to be looking forward to FC25 is I really haven't been playing FC24 for, like, two or three weeks now. I had to just stop playing because I was getting really tired of it. So, like, I'm getting excited for a new grind. But, nah, this has fully got me excited. Wow. Division Rivals, your everyday destination for online competitive play. As you can see in champ section, your Division Rivals will play a key role in helping you qualify. Back in August... Uh, okay. With such a large fan base, it's tricky to get the balance right for everyone as we think about the right number of matches for weekly rewards. As you can imagine, there's a vastly different number of average average matches played in the Elite Division versus Division 8 this each season. In FC25, we're increasing the number of wins required for weekly rewards from 3 to 5 and for upgraded weekly rewards for 7 to 15. Oh, oh. 7, 15 wins. Oh, my God. 50 wins. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's good because they're reducing qualities, right? And chance finals is a little lower. I'm curious to see what EA is adding for rewards for 15 wins, though. Look, I'm a person that likes a grind. So some people will look at that and say, hey, I have a full-time job. I can't. Look, okay. Foot chance finals looks really worth it. So that might just be the mode for you. 15 wins, right? 15 games, not 20 anymore. But Rivals is going to have more. This changes will allow you to substantially increase the value of rewards rivals. As an example below, you can see the upgrade weekly rewards for elite division in rivals. Okay, so if you got 15 wins in the elite division, you get 75k. You get two tradable 85 plus player picks. Wow, that could be pretty good. 
you get an untradeable 75 gold rare players pack. So 75 gold rare players untradeable. You get 50 gold rare tradable players. So an ultra, so a 100k pack is 20, ultra pack is 30. So you get a 50. So it's pretty much like an ultimate and a jumbo rare players pack combined, but your odds are going to be better. Tradable mega pack, 35k. Two untradeable 83 plus team of the week player packs. At the same time as we are overhauling the rank requirements, we're going to streamline rivals reward options into a single option per tier at each division that will feature a balance. Okay. So this isn't obviously the craziest for an elite division because it's going to be insanely hell to get there, but it's still pretty good. Squad battles. Um, to help each match in squad battles feel more meaningful, we'll be reducing the number of matches that count towards your weekly rank from 32 to 14. Oh, wow. That, I mean, even for a person that doesn't do offline, like, that might be fun to try to get a top 100 with only 14. 32. The problem with squad battles previously was way too tedious. Okay. Wow. Dude, we're still going? I'm not even halfway through this. Yo, guys, this is unreal. Live friendlies. Imagine the gameplay is 20% better next year, too. Wow. I doubt it, but wow. In FC24, many high skill players found that champs playoffs often created a low stake environment. This has always been the intent of live friendlies, but previous matchmaking could have sometimes created overly competitive matches. This also led to a lack of incentive to players to push for the highest rank in rivals. In FC25, we're making changes to matchmaking based on form. Uh, it's important for the long term health of the community that newer or lower skill players are finding good matchups as they play online for the first time to reduce the potential win form manipulation. Only full match losses will count towards the way form is calculated. All right, that's good. This means that if a match ends before. Okay. Season points. I finally be removing season points as XP uh, evolutions. Evolutions are one of the largest additions we made to Ultimate Team. In last year's pitch notes, I discussed that evolutions at launch could look very differently to help address in FC25. We're changing the way Evos upgrade your players. In FC24, evolution upgrades were applied equally across all players. For example, if an evolution plus 10, it would always play. Okay, got it. So, like, you can still, up you can still upgrade a player even if they don't fit it. It's just going to only go to a certain max, which is pretty cool. I want to see if they add anything about Rush. Okay, these are all the new icons. We've known this. I don't. I mean, Bail 88, a little low, but anything about Rush on here? In FC25, we explain the way in which you're able to play with icons in career mode throughout the year. Oh, that's pretty cool. Player career with those heroes. So we know that. Item view, average transfer market price. We know an understanding... The value of players in your club is important to you. Whether you're planning a squad overhaul in the transfer market, comparing the value of your starting 11 to your mates, or assessing what you just packed, we're introducing an average transfer market price for player items in the fifth player view. When you're looking at a player item, simply flick through the right stick to the left, and you'll find the price reference above the player skill moving weak foot. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, that's sick. I mean, that's sick. Also, like, my trader instinct and for you guys that are traders uh, you're gonna probably get so many snipes because they're saying here like it's gonna change hour by hour so this is gonna be like you know what people used to trade with like the flip and glitch where the price would glitch and then everyone who like didn't know better would just go on flipping it was updated 30 minutes ago and they would just list that price that's totally gonna happen it's gonna be crazy for trading multiple versions of players and packs since ultimate team 23 uh it has been possible to obtain multiple versions of the same player item impacts at the same time most commonly you might have seen us use this with icons and heroes in Golasso or during ultimate team birthday more recently with the footies you may have also seen want to clear up any confusion our aim is to create multiple opportunities to obtain diverse versions of your players although there might be multiple specials of a single player impacts at once when we add or multiple special items with we remove their base okay got it club membership Preseason and Euro rewards, October 10th. You won't get those until... Wow, dude, this is crazy. I didn't really see much in here about Rush. Like, so we'll still see. That's the new mode they're adding. So we still got to see, like, what's the deal with Rush. Like, I think Rush is... We'll just see what the vibe is with Rush. I mean, I'm excited for that, too. Guys, this is unreal. I don't want to waste too much of your time because I still got to do a stream today. This is unreal. I don't even know what, like, you know, I, 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 like, for me, I get rank one, rank two, rank three a lot throughout the year. So, like, seeing these rewards for me is, like, nuts. Especially, like, sometimes for me, I really struggle with motivation in the recent couple of FIFAs to, like, care. Like, I used to really care to want to get top 100 because it was a cool thing to do. This is going to be crazy to try to get 15 and 0 now. I like the 15 wins of rivals, too. I'm not against that. I think that's pretty nice. Gives you a lot of incentive to play, you know? Boys, um, you know, one bummer about this, I'm still, we're still really not seeing a ton with like, you know, the idea of I wanted some day to have co-op champions, you know, like 
something like that. And hopefully Rush will hit that. I don't know if it's going to because I haven't, they haven't really wrote anything about it here. But unreal. Unreal video, man. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. We'll be back with uh, some more you know, FC25 content coming up soon, guys. Peace.